Greetings. I'm Paul, and I am the lead research technician at the Hado Linux Research Labs, and I am also the administrator of the Papa West Linux Facebook group on Facebook. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the, the uh, Heroic Games Launcher on Pop! OS Linux 22.04. Okay, let's get started. So here's my Pop! installation here. You can see I'm on Pop! OS 22.04 and I'm going to install Heroic Game Launcher on here, okay? So, first thing I want to do is show you that I don't actually have Heroic installed already and when we're done we'll come back and spot it and we'll try to launch it from the GUI the GUI method from the application folder here okay so that's H right heroic H looking for H's here and as you can clearly see EFG H so it would be in here somewhere it's not here when we're done it should be here okay so it's not here right now and then um, the way I'm going to do it, I'm not sure if it's going to add an, um, um, a source, you know, a, a, U, a repo URL to my sources list or not. It might, it might not. It's not going to be done by, um, I'm not going to actually add the uh, the repo URL like you, you know, with the terminal commands that you normally, that, that I've done before. But I'm going to um, download the standalone dev file and use apt and that might, Add the uh, the repo URL to the sources list. I'm not sure, so we'll we'll check it. One we'll check the, the the sources list here in the GUI repo manager through Pop Shop and see. And I want to I just want to show you that I don't already have Heroic already in, um, installed. I don't have the repo URL already installed in my sources list. So go to so software sources here. This opens the the repo manager. Repo man. Okay. Go to extra sources, and what do we have here? Let's count it up real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there's ten. Let's see if there would be an eleventh one uh, for heroic or not. As you can see, there's no heroic here. When we're done, let's see if it's here. The added benefit of doing that is that, in theory, in theory, it, it's supposed to um, allow APT to pull in patches and new releases from the um, Heroic or from wherever the the, uh, the repo is hosted. So if there's a new Heroic version or patch, uh, you know, just pull in a new version or patch or whatever, and you don't have to always keep track of if there's a new version or patch, and then uh, do it manually. But I'm going to do it manually this time, and we'll see what happens. Let's see if it adds the repo URL or not. Okay, so that's that. That's pretty much about it. So when we're done, we'll try to launch it GUI-wise and command line-wise. We'll see if it's on the path. Um, been a while since I've installed the Heroic, actually. So this is kind of, I won't say it's new, but um, getting kind of reacquainted with it here myself. Okay, so let's pop open the browser here. And you want to go to HeroicGamesLauncher.com here. Okay. Kind of scroll down, there's a lot of information here about some of its features and whatnot. I don't think that they have an actual, uh, they don't offer you an account, I don't think, doesn't look like. So you're not going to have to worry about an account, doesn't look like, to sign in to run the uh, program or just to synchronize your desktop with the, uh, with the cloud or whatever. So I'm just going to go ahead and just download and install it and we'll see what happens. Okay, so, you know, you can read it here. Heroic is a free and open source, you know, um, launcher for Linux, Windows, and Mac. You can see that uh, it's going to be able to launch Epic, GOG, and uh, Amazon Prime games. Okay, so I want to go to the download, the download button there. At this point, I'm not going to um, do a flat pack or app image. If you want to do those two, you can. Look that up there, and then or flat up here for flat pack and app image. I'm going to scroll down here, arrow down a little bit more to the other section here. You can forget Windows and Mac, okay? 
Okay, so it comes natively in DEB and RPMs in a TAR file. I'm not going to deal with RPMs or TARs because I'm on I'm on POP and RPM wouldn't work. I'm not sure what the, the TAR is. That source can pop from source or there's a launcher in there. I'm not really quite sure how to work. I'd have to um, you know get into that to see exactly how I would work with that. But for now, I'm just going to stick with the dev file here. Okay, so I'm going to go to click, you know, see all. It takes me to their GitHub repo here. Okay. And what's the newest version here? Looks like uh, 2.14.1. Okay. There's some like change logs there or whatever. Come down here to assets. Okay. And I'm going to skip the big chunk of these first ones here. Mac, portable, Windows. I'm going to skip the app image. I'm going to skip Pac-Man, which is probably for Arch-based distros, TAR, RPM for Red Hat-based. Then there's co uh, source code here to um, compile from source. I'm not going to do that. I'm not sure what the, YAML, the, the YAMLs are for here. But I'm going to focus on the, on the deb here. This is where I want to be right here. Heroic 2.14.1, amd64.deb. Okay, this is what I want, 2.14. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and it's going to go ahead and start to download. Looks like it might be kind of big, 100 megabytes, okay. Pop that open, and back when it's done. But you can see it's downloading properly here. Okay, done, done downloading, took a couple of minutes. You can see here it's uh, complete here. So it's in our download folder, right? Okay, so we're pretty much done with that for now. So I'm going to go to the uh, terminal here. I'm going to CD into my download folder. And I'm going to try to spot it in here. Okay, where is it at here? Here it is right here. Heroic214.deb. Okay, good. Now... I'm not going to use um, I'm not going to use APT with the full path or dpackage with the full path, and I'm not going to use dpackage here with the relative path because I want APT to I want to use APT so I can make sure that the uh, dependencies are resolved. So let's see let's see if by using APT with this relative path here in the download folder, let's see if that that will install it or not. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so. I know I'm in the download folder here where the heroic.deb uh, file has been saved. So I'm going to go AP, uh, sudo apt install dot slash and it was an H. H and then I'm going to hit the tab key. Okay, it completes it because there were no other H's in here. Okay, good. That looks good so far. Let's see if this relative path works here. Okay, so sudo apt install dot heroic you know the relative path as opposed to the full uh, absolute path of home Paul downloads so I'm I'm gonna I'm kind of cutting out a, you know some of the some of the path there and let's see if APT will uh, you know hopefully it'll uh, resolve the dependencies okay let's see what happens so we'll enter on that and it looks like it's going to uh, just install it I don't think it's downloading anything at this point just unpacking and installing heroic doesn't look like there's a lot of dependencies it's doing, to be honest. Just looks like it's going to just do um, heroic package. I don't really see where it's doing any um, dependencies here. All right, that was pretty quick. All right, let's see if that worked. We'll go ahead and clear on that, and we'll come back to the terminal and try to launch it this way if it's on the path. And we'll get into that after we try to spot it in the folder and down and um, launch it that way but first let's see if it actually added a an entry into the repo manager here okay what was it 11 right it was 10 before I think right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten or yeah one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah I don't see where it added a heroic entry here so it didn't do that which means that you're probably going to have to come back to the uh, web page and download, you know, keep track of it somehow and download new versions and new um, 
point releases or whatever as they come out and do it manually that way. Okay. So that was uh, kind of a bummer. It's it's nice to have it added to your um it's nice to have APT added to your sources list so that you could so you could pull from it automatically, but it seems like this way you gotta do it you gotta you know maintain it manually. That's okay. Anyway, let's go back oh, let's go to the application folder here and and try to spot it here. Okay, here it is right here. It wasn't here before, right? So here it is now. I'm gonna right click on that. I'm gonna pin it to my to my um to my dock. It says dash, but I think this is the dock actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin it to my my um my dock here. And then just a simple uh, left click to try to launch it and see what happens. Might take a couple of moments here to initialize itself. Okay, I think something's coming. Okay, there it is. Okay, that's good. There are no, no Okay, and um yeah, okay, I can do all this later. You, I guess you have to um I didn't see a, I didn't see um a way on their uh on their page here to Let's see. Let's go back here. You can look I can look later. I don't see a place where you can uh create a you know an account here anyway I'll get into that later you can do it on your own as well or I can just click on here and anyway there's probably gonna have to be some kind of aspect where you have to log into their um, into an account I don't see a place there on their page to create one but just uh, be just uh, be aware that you're gonna have to probably create some kind of a heroic account and log in here Okay, so that's pretty much about it. I don't want to get into all the usage of it and everything. I just wanted to get it installed. And let's see if there's a place really quick to find out. Okay, the version. Okay, I wanted to see the version here. Verify the version real quick. Okay, 2.14.1. Okay, that's where I wanted to be. Okay, so this is Heroic and it's been uh, installed and launched GUI method. Okay, so we'll X that out. And then... Take a quick little look. Nothing I missed here. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to launch it by terminal. CD out of there. Go back to here. Now, GUI is plan A for launching. And um, command line would be plan B. So always try to launch it GUI method wise here. And if there's any launch, launch or usage problems, then go to the terminal. And try to launch it uh, by terminal. And um, if there's launch or usage issues, hopefully there'll be some output here in the in the process that you can use to. Hopefully there'll be something meaningful there for you to debug launch and or usage issues. Okay, so let's see if the let's see if um, the heroic binary was put on the path or not. Okay, so let's let's do the which command here. Okay, which heroic. User bin heroic. Okay. Then I'm going to echo out the value in the path, the path variable. And that to do that is like this here. Echo dollar sign path variable. Okay. Let's see what's. Let's see if this this path here is on the path variable. User bin heroic. Okay. Let's take a little look here. User bin, okay. User bin here, right? Nothing else, okay. Yeah. So user bin, you just want kind of like the the base. You don't need to have heroic on here. Heroic is the end the end point. That's the binary. You just want to make sure that the the base path here is on on the path variable user bin, and it looks like that's since user bin is on the path variable, and that's where heroic the heroic binary was. Was installed to, then that means it's on the on the path. It should be on the path, and I should be able to launch it from the terminal. I don't have to go ahead and add the the um, the heroic path to the path variable in my uh, bash rc file, and then uh, you know source it and all that. I don't have to do it manually. It's already been done for me. Okay, okay. So assuming that everything I saw there was correct, then it's on the path. And let's see if I can use the right keyword here. 
I do believe it's heroic. So just right here in the home folder, or anywhere in the file system actually, you can just type in heroic and let's see if it launches it. Okay, heroic, enter, and that looks like it's going to work. Okay, good. So I launched it by the terminal, you know, via the command line interface method. GUI, and this, that was, before it was GUI, this, this was the command line. Okay, that looks good. Okay, the version I was expecting, okay, great. All right, so it's installed. Okay, that's fine. Then you can get into working with it later. I'm going to X that out. And that's it. And then there's the back end here, the, the back end process. Um, keep in mind that if you kill, if you X, if you, um, you know, control Z or whatever, the back end process, it'll kill or freeze the front end. And if you kill the front end heroic launcher, then this back end will be freed up. And this will this will um, terminate as well. So they kind of need each other. They work in tandem. So like I said, I would use the GUI because it's a little bit more streamlined and just easier. Um, and then uh, plan B would be using the command line. And don't forget, you have to, you have to always keep um, a dedicated uh, one terminal window in a tab um, dedicated to that heroic process. So it can kind of clutter your workflow up a little bit. But as you can see, that, that worked. Okay, it was on the path and it launched from the command line with the keyword heroic. Okay. And we'll clear on that. Okay, that's pretty much about it. I do want to show you one more thing. You can also go to the GUI file manager here. Yeah, I think I'm 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 pretty much all done. I just want to show you one more thing. Yeah, pretty much done here. Okay, and then if you go to the um the GUI file manager, let's try to spot that um, heroic installation this way here okay so we go to computer here what was it user bin right user okay user bin and then let's try to spot heroic in here okay you have to scroll down a little bit here down to the H's looks like EFG EFG H okay so heroic should be in here somewhere Okay, that looks like it's right here. Okay, this is it right here. So you can right click on that and run it that way. Let's see what that does. It should be the same thing. Yep, same thing. Okay. You know, right click on that. Probably can also double click it as well. Let's see if a double click also launches it. I think that's going to work too. Okay, yeah, they both worked. So that's pretty much, I guess, kind of like three ways to three ways to actually uh, launch it via just the, the GUI launcher here in the application folder by terminal commands, and then also going into the uh, the the, uh, the GUI file manager and launching it that way. Of course, the easiest way, the most convenient way, is to do it from the application folder. Okay, so that's that's pretty much about it. Uh, I think I think I covered all the bases that I wanted to cover. So uh, looks pretty good there. Okay, so that was how to install the Heroic Games Launcher uh, 2.14 on Pop OS Linux 22.04. Okay, uh, once again, I am Paul, and I am the lead research technician here at the uh, How to Linux Research Labs. And I am also the administrator of the Pop! OS Linux Facebook group on Facebook. Uh, I want to ask you to like, comment, hit the notification bell, and, sub and leave a... Like, comment, subscribe, and hit the uh, notification bell.